Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you May 4th, ECB Day. Um, some very, very strange uh, price action at midnight last night in both crude and gold. Um, can't seem to find the news right away, but gold traded up to 2080. And crude traded down to 63, 67. Um, astonishing, astonishing bars. We are not playing in either of them. Um, looks, both of them look wildly capitulatory. Uh, and, but in like all great capitulatory bars, <coughs> this is going to be very, very difficult to chase, right? You don't want to get long crude at 6908. Um, nor do you want to get short gold at 2036. So uh, we'll just leave it, leave it to Beaver. Who doesn't like Beaver? Um, I don't know. Wow, stunning. Anyway, ECB today. Um, what do we got on tap here? We like Euro higher. We are long some euros. Um, is this going to break 111? Yeah, sure looks like it. Are we going to close at 112.50 this week? Yes, sure looks like it. Are we going to close the year at 128 in Euro? Um, yeah, I think we are. And it's one of these cases where you have a dead horse and a broken horse on three legs that needs ketamine to walk. Um, you know, you just have to choose. Do you want the dead horse? I guess you could sell it to the glue factory for five cents, or you could take the three-legged horse, uh, keep feeding it uh, Special K, and ride it down the road for as long as you can. The three-legged horse, uh, drug-addicted horse, is Euro. The dead horse is the dollar. Uh, this is what happens, right? Like, Euro is never, when things are going great, Euro is never that good. When things are going horribly, which they are right now, um, Euro is never that bad. Uh, and people love to like piss on the Euro and piss on Europe in general. It's fine. Um, I don't know. Could be hydrating uh, if you drink enough piss, I guess. I don't know. But uh, anyway, metaphors aside, Euro uh, is heading higher. 111 is a break trade. Probably won't be super clean because it's rather obvious, but um, I don't know. Maybe a 25 pointer uh, is is the play here. Cable, same thing. Um, this is also a case of just where you, where's the money gonna go, right? Uh, you know, the money's not gonna go into crypto. It's going into gold, sure. Um, but it also has to go somewhere else uh, within the sort of G10 world. And even though the UK is fucked and inflation is 10% and London is, you know, half as cool as it used to be, uh, historically this is super low. Uh, this can easily float up to 140. Uh, and, you know, where's your point here? I mean, is it 126? Is it as simple as just buy through 126 and buy through 111? Um, maybe. Um, let's see. Our other uh, our other bet is Euro Swiss, which um, is not working out super well. We own we own some Euro Swiss at 97.91. Um, dollar Swiss is just taking it in the ass. Uh, Retail is so fucking utterly long, dollar Swiss. It's crazy. Um, but it also is like, is this just a harbinger to how how sordidly bad the situation is? is you know, when Swiss is, does this, dollar Swiss at 88, Swiss yen at 152, sterling Swiss at 110 per se, CAD Swiss, Euro, uh, Euro Swiss is on the 97 handle. Um, I don't know. Is this also like the secret squirrel? The secret squirrels telling us shit ain't good. Um, and when shit is like ostensibly 
really bad, but a lot of people won't admit it. Uh, where does the money flow? Swiss francs? I don't know. Open question. Anyway, uh, we own we own Euro Swiss here. It's not looking great at the moment. It's a very bearish bar yesterday, but we think ECB is going to go 50 today, and if they do, Euro Swiss should pop. Uh, let's see. Let's look at equities. Um, took a digger at the open. There must have been news there at the open. I mean, what? what I don't understand any of this. Uh, down to 4077 critical support down there a big bounce um, so like gap open down and then bounce uh, as we mentioned risk is fucked this week um, look at our quasi yen boom those were some good ones 92 12s um, you got you know you can just sell so sell S and P's. We're not we're not playing in that game, but up near forty one thirty, forty one twenty five thirty, you can just dump some of that shit. Um, and then let's look at one last thing, Euro Yen. We said don't be long Euro Yen. I mean don't be short Euro Yen. Uh, we don't have a position, but that was obviously wrong. Shit fucking sold down the river. Um, e C B today. You know, I didn't expect dollar yen to speed ahead of euro dollar, but it did. Uh, but the market is super short this shit. So, could you actually buy euro yen at one forty eight fifty? We're not playing in this game. Um, we're still short a little Aussie yen, and we're long euros and long euro Swiss. But could you buy euro yen at one forty eight fifty? Probably, probably first time down. It's not a bad idea. All right, listen, not tons to do here this morning. Uh, ECB this afternoon, obviously. Let's uh, see what the Jersey girl has to say. Uh, see how tan she is. And then uh, we also have unemployment claims, which will be interesting. And if you're playing in the Canadian space, uh, you got some... BOC speakers at the end of the night tonight, so be careful um, if you're screwing around there. All right, listen, not not a lot to do today. Uh, we're core long euros. We're going to be watching these key levels in euro dollar in cable, and we own some euro Swiss, which doesn't look great, but we're going to stick with it for now. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.